Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I'm available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. Now, if you are a regular of this uh, show, you might be surprised to see that today I am using Visual Studio. That doesn't come up real often. In fact, I tend to mostly use Compiler Explorer. Don't worry, I will get back to using Compiler Explorer soon. But the reason I am using Visual Studio today is because it is the only compiler that has implemented the feature that I would like to demonstrate today, which is a new feature of C20. Now, you would have already seen based on the title of this episode that this is about the spaceship operator. And this is the kind of thing that I think is still being implemented, even in Visual Studio. But we can demonstrate how it works and what it would be used for at the most basic level. I am not going to dig into all of the details, but I will show you basically how it works. Let's just start with some sort of struct of data contains two integers. And we want a set of these things. And we want to add something to this data set here. So let's just go ahead and put in some sort of data element like this. And now if I compile this, I get this error here that says that I don't have a binary less than operator is basically what it's saying. But it actually is this you know, relatively difficult to read and parse error. So I need to give a binary operator that returns a boolean that's going to look something like this. And if you've ever implemented something like this before, you start to appreciate at some point that this becomes a lot of code to write, particularly if you need more than one of the comparison operators, if we need less than, greater than, equal to, and we've got um, you know, more than three different things that we're trying to compare. So if we compile this, then we see that it still doesn't compile because we left off something obvious here. It needs to be a const member function here. And now if we compile it, we see that we got it to build. And this feels like a lot of boilerplate in the case where you want a simple less than operator. So the spaceship operator added in C20 allows us to do something kind of like this. And it's really just that simple. It gives us a way of asking the compiler to generate the comparison operators for us. But you can see here that it has this new requirement, that it needs this standard weak equality down here. So we do have to include the compare header, which isn't that much of a burden. Now, I am using the latest preview of Visual Studio at the time of the recording of this episode, so it just barely has support for this. So as you can see, IntelliSense is telling me operator less than, equal to, greater than. What does that mean? That doesn't mean anything. But what this has given us is all of the operators. It is now well-defined for us to check for equality less than, less than or equal to, etc. These are all defined things. Now IntelliSense is probably still going to be a little angry here, but the compiler should be okay with it, and in fact it is. So I expect that IntelliSense will be updated uh, before this Visual Studio release is made public, of course. But you can download this preview release, I believe anyone can. 
So uh, give it a shot, play with the spaceship operator and see how it works for you, maybe perhaps in the code that you are currently working on. I don't know where this might save some people a lot of boilerplate code, and it really makes sense. If we can tell the compiler, yes, please generate these things for us, and it does a member-wise comparison here in what would be the logical order that we would write our own comparison, and it also works for things like, or at least it will and should work for things like automatically generating the less than operator for vectors and that kind of thing as well. So thank you for watching this episode of C++ Weekly. I hope you learned something new about C++ 20.